Hey guys, ever wonder why EVs with massive battery packs also need a 12 volt lead acid battery? That conversation is coming up. So I'm sure the first thing you're thinking of is, this EV has a 60 plus kilowatt hour battery pack. Why can't they just use that energy to power your windows, your, you know, your wiper motors, your screen, all those types of things? It's a great question and I'm going to answer it now. So there's actually a lot of reasons why the high voltage battery only powers the electric drive motors and not everything else. First off, at least in Tesla's case, the high voltage battery is 400 volts. And that is a lot of energy, and so if you were to touch that, it could kill you. A 12 volt battery is obviously a lot less voltage, which means that if you touch it, it's probably not going to feel good, but it's also not going to kill you as well. 12 volts is also the standard for a lot of small electronics. So like your windows, like your computer screen, like your windshield wipers, all those things are standardized at 12 volts, so having a 12 volt battery fixes that problem altogether. So if you were to power all those small electronics without a 12 volt using your main battery pack, you run the risk of bricking the car, which basically means if that main battery pack totally died, you would not be able to turn the car on and your main battery would be toast at that point. So instead of spending 20 grand or 15 grand, however much a main battery pack costs, all you gotta spend is like 100 bucks for a 12 volt battery and your problem is fixed. Safety is another reason. So one of the things that is a small electronic that's powered by the 12 volt are your hazard lights. So if in the event you're in an accident, the car is automatically programmed to shut off your main battery pack. So if you didn't have that 12 volt, you wouldn't even be able to turn on your hazard lights. In addition to not being able to turn on your hazard lights, you also wouldn't be able to open your doors as well, because those are powered by the 12 volt also. And on top of that, if you're in an accident, the airbags are also powered by the 12 volt. So again, like I mentioned, the main battery pack will shut off which means you run the risk of your airbags not coming off, not going off, which means you might die, you know, it, it could save your life if the airbags need to go off in a, you know, crash situation. You may be asking yourself, well, we know Tesla batteries and EV batteries in general are made of lithium ion, so why is the 12 volt made of lead acid, which pollutes the earth more? That's really all a business decision because lead acid batteries are a lot cheaper to produce. They cost around $100 for a battery, where if you're to buy a 12 volt lithium ion battery, that's going to cost you about $400. So it makes more sense to put a lead acid battery in there, which will last, you know, a certain amount of time. A lithium ion battery will last a lot longer, but, you know, a couple of lead acid batteries will probably last you the life of the car, which, you know, it doesn't really make sense to buy keep buying uh, lithium ion batteries because they cost more. So it's just a production business decision. Another important reason is climate. So lead acid batteries have a lower freezing point than lithium ion batteries. And so if you live in a cold area, your battery will work more stable for longer in a cold climate. And so that's another reason why they don't have lithium ion batteries in their mass market cars. So you may or may not have noticed that with the new refresh Model S and X and the Plaids, they are including lithium-ion 12-volt batteries now. But I think since they're not mass-market cars, they can afford to do that. And basically, for those cars, you would probably have to have some sort of system where basically it keeps the lithium-ion 12-volt battery warm as well. And so that's going to cost you more money. It's going to use up more energy. And so I think lead-acid batteries make more sense for the mass-market car unless you live somewhere like here in California or somewhere in Arizona or something where it's a lot warmer and you don't have to worry about that cold weather threat. And it's also gonna cause Tesla a more logistical headache to try and figure out, hey, should we send this lithium ion you know, car to this place or this lead acid battery to this place? You just have all lead acid batteries. You don't need to worry about it. It's a lot easier logistically to just send cars everywhere with the same uh, lower freezing point battery. So those are the reasons why your EV with a big lithium ion main battery still has a small 12 volt battery attached to it. Leave your comments below and thanks for watching.